slider's been good, changeup usage, it's an improving pitch, which I like to see. I, especially in this first inning, for me, Drew, it's establishing fastball on the corners. That's where he gets hurt. So I'll be a little bit later on, but we are set to go, and the first pitch of the afternoon is swung on and lied the left, and that's a fair ball. Into that corner, Derek Dietrich will have a leadoff double. And there's still a little bit of standing water. This field drains amazingly well. And this is on the ground toward the hole, and it's going to sneak through. Dietrich's going to try to move up now, and he will. So it'll be first and third. Two pitches in. Two pitches in, first and third for Miami. Here's the 1-1 one -one on Rumuto, and that's lined to the gap in right center field. It'll be cut off by Charlie. Rumuto runs well, and he's into second with a double, and it's 1-0 Miami. Jeff Houston and I yesterday. And that's a base hit, and that's going to score two. Four straight hits, and Miami's up 3-0. Strike three, first out of the inning. A curveball freezes Riddle. Two strikes with the bases loaded. And he got it. In the inning, nine men come to the plate for Miami after the rain delay. The first four had hits, three scored. Starting for the Miami Marlins is Caleb Smith, and the Rockies have some payback on their mind when it comes to Smith. Yeah, the last time they saw him was in Miami, and Smith pitched a very strong game against the Rocks. Seven innings pitched. 20th pitch already of the inning. And Nolan dropped it high and deep left field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Here come the Rockies. Number 18 from Nolan. And this ball's in the air, right center field and deep, and gone. Dietrich has done it again. And it's four to two. And Anderson. Swings and misses on a slider away. That's the second, excuse me, third strikeout for. Count as much in their hands. Round ball through the right side, a base hit. Rimuto will long stride it toward third. Swung on and miss. So a strikeout off the plate of Starlin Castro by Marcus. And there's two outs. And Brandon was a you know a fourth outfielder. Swung on a miss. Murphy strikes out against Caleb Smith. One out against Jacob DeGrom. And the Dodgers ended up beating the Mets last oh, night. And Caleb Smith just got hurt. The reason I mention that is the, uh, the Dodgers just won in 11 innings in New York. 8-7 over the Mets. They hit seven solo home runs in that game. And the Dodgers ended up winning today, too. Hitting a couple more home runs. No, no, that's what I'm talking about. They oh, hit seven today. Yeah, you're talking about last night. Smith's not even going to throw a throw another pitch he's just coming off the mound Rockies down four to two an injury to Caleb Smith find out more as soon as the uh, Marlins clubhouse lets us know so Drew Ruchinski will take over for Miami that's Adam Conley more of a setup guy now this is bounced up the middle Riddle's got it and that's all for the Rockies in the second Murph wants a curve ball and it gets a strikeout. Terminated. And that's all for Rusinski. Didn't take long. Two outs. And that'll bring up a problem child, Derek Dietrich. Two and one. And DJ rips this ball to left center for a base hit. Three, the Marlins, 558. This ball line, base hit. DJ had to freeze to see it pass Castro. And that was a vintage black minute bat. Smith gone after getting four outs and giving up two runs. 2-2. Two -two. And Nolan strikes out. He can't move up there because first base was occupied with less than two outs. The runners will move up. It'll be a pass ball on Rimuto. Going to add to that total right here. 
And he will. This should tie it up. LeMahieu scores. Here comes Blackman. And we're all even at four. Runner going, and that's down the line. Fair. That'll score at least one. Castro to third. He'll stop there. Parra throws behind to second. But it is a run scoring double for Riddle, and it's five to four, Miami. Two thirds of an inning, three hits, two walks, two strikeouts. Still trying to get things right. This could be close. Well done by Russ and good feed from Desmond. This ball is hit to deep right center field. Paula has hit it out. Back to back ball games with a home run. And it's six to five. How good has he been the last two months? It's been great. He's been carrying the bottom of the lineup. It's just. Strikes out against Russin. Swung on and missed. Good inning for Chris Russin. Couple of strikeouts. Some help in deep right field by Cuevas. He got off to a great start, but the slider has just been failing him. Big fastball. When you hit. And Desmond goes down. So the Rockies go in order against Guerrero in the fifth. One and two. And a strikeout of Murphy. And par went. Three straight strikeouts for Guerrero. Two gone in the sixth inning, and that'll bring up Noel Cuevas. Jake McGee. And a hard shot that's going to scoot into right field. Good effort by Desmond. Doesn't believe in that. This ball lifted to left field and deep by Brinson and off the top of the wall, heading home. And the throw going there is not going to get it. Brinson goes to third as Rivera scores. A triple. That is going to bring home a run. A single the opposite way. Nolan wanted to slam his glove to the turf, but it was hit pretty sharply by Dietrich. That's his fourth hit of the ball game, his second RBI, two singles, a double, and a home run. And the new pitcher in the ninth inning is Kyle Bearclaw. Not only has he gone ten and two thirds without giving up a hit over his last 18 appearances. Three one. And it's a fly ball to right field. Brian Anderson will tuck it away, and the Marlins win the baseball game this afternoon by a final score of eight to five. And they do take two out of three from Colorado. On the homestand, the Rockies a 1.14 straight. Unfortunately, they lose the last two, and it's a four and three homestand. And they'll go out on the road to San Francisco at 38 and 40. The Marlins now 31 and 47.